Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Emi Chicken from Team Pandori. In today's video, we will rank all of these Emuelic compatible boxes from tier S to absolute trash, along with reasoning behind each choice. The first half will be bare bone systems, cheap choices, but will require you to install Emuelic yourself, while the second half will be slightly more expensive, typically found with games and controllers sold as a games box. Remember that this list is totally subjective, and if you find this video complete garbage, hit that like and subscribe, mister. If you have choice, get the one with the most onboard memory, and if you intend on copying over files or streaming from Android, get a 1 gigabit LAN model. Let's get started. First up is X96 Max Plus. This can be had for as little as $30, looks pretty nice, and it gets a little hot. Two USB ports, and it can run all systems up to PS1 and Amiga full speed. It'll be hit and miss with N64, Dreamcast and PSP, but these games will be playable with frame skip. All of the 905X3 are very similar in this regard, and we're going to give this a B. The X96 Air. Well, this is actually very similar to the last box, but there are some improvements. There are three USB ports, as well as better cooling. After some PSP gameplay, we got up to 59 degrees Celsius, which is not bad at all, especially on a system with passive cooling. This one, also a B. The H96 Max. Now this was an interesting one. So many people bought this box thinking it was an S905X4 system with Android 10, but in fact it was Android 9, running on a chip that did actually have 905X4 written on it, but Speeds are 905X3, so whatever. What we have here is pretty much the clone of the X96 Plus Max, but with the form factor being a circle, it can look kind of messy when all the cables are all plugged up to it. Irregardless, we're going to give this a B. Some people might like circles. The Me Cool KM6, or the KM6 Classic. Me Cool is not cool. It cannot run Emuelec in the trash. Next up is the B-Link GT King. A bit of a price jump to $108 for this, but this will run N64, Dreamcast, and also PSP at double resolution. The skull on the top is a bonus, and you'll have three USB ports, as well as a decent Bluetooth connection. And the same goes for all these upper tier boxes. At $140, you can get the GT King Pro, which it won't give us anything new for Emuelec, but it's in a nice blue color. The Banana Pi M2 Pro, at a very nice size, holding the 905X3 chip, it stays very cool, but it's just too faffy to recommend for the regular user. For them it'd be maybe rank C, but if you're a tech and you like doing stuff with these, maybe a B. Next up, the X96S. These start selling from around the $45 mark, and could be used as a surprisingly portable MULX stick. It only has one USB port, and it'll need to be powered via micro USB. The portable version of the 905X2, the 905Y2, this stays around 50 to 60 degrees Celsius. It'd be nice to have this tucked away behind your TV. Another B. Next up, the Odroid N2 Plus. This can be pretty difficult to find, but now they've started appearing on AliExpress, and it has the same chipset as the B-Link GT King. The main difference is that the Odroid N2 Plus is built to be clocked way higher it has a huge heatsink, as well as a big area for a fan underneath. With this, you'll be running PSP in three times, maybe four times resolution, GameCube games, and even later cave titles on MAME. This is a solid S. Next up is the HK1 box. 905X3 chip, pretty cheap, but with a solid community behind it, you can't go wrong with a MUB. Solid B. Next up, the Minix. U22XJ. Pretty expensive, but very well built. I'm gonna give this one an A. So let's take it to the second half. First up is the Super Console X Pro. With the older S905X chipset and only one gigabyte of memory, it has no official support for Emuelic updates. It can play up to PlayStation 1, then hit and miss with N64. Mostly miss. Simple 2D PSP and Naomi games do work well, but others need extensive frame skip. Graphical glitches may also be present due to the Mali 400 GPU. Both this 
and the standard Console X belong in tier C. Super Console X Max. This is a 905X3 with games on it. So, B. To be fair with you, this is probably the same as this. Next, the Super Console X King. Now, where have I seen this before? That's right, it's a B-Link GT King with games and pads. This one's an A. Super Console X Cube. We've done a review on this, and yes, it wasn't that great, but it does have a place in the market. With the four USB ports, this would be great for four-play gaming on older systems. Chip in here was a 905M, which I liked in the Super Console X, but the Cube had heating issues, slowed down, and sometimes even crashed on the harder to emulate consoles. So we'll give this a D. All right, moving on, Super Console X Stick. This is a Super Console X as a stick. We'll give it a C. Porky Box. It looks really cute, but the internals of this is the regular Super Console X. So you'll have the 905M chip in there, the energy efficient version of the 905. Honestly, there's not much difference in performance from the 905X, so this is a C. Next up, the Porky Box Pro. They're trying to sell this for $230. You can see from the shape that this is the X96 Plus Max that we had on earlier. It's the 905X3, so this is a B. Next up, the Retro Station 14K. Again, it's a repurposed X96 Plus Max. We had this on our channel last year in our video review. We're going to put this in the B tier. The Game Box G5. Remember this? It was the uh, teleportation box. Looks pretty cool, but very slow chip. It's a 905L, which runs at 1.2 GHz. That's the bottom tier of the 905 series. And for the cherry on top, the version of Emuelic here is completely nerfed. If you want to add controllers or anything like that, you need to do a bit of faffing. Or you could start afresh with a clean install of Emuelic. Also, the fan is extremely noisy. This box would be trash, but it's fixable. D. Next up, the Supper Game Box, X5. They took everything that was bad from the G5 and then updated the fan. D. And last up, the AD1900 Arcade Box. This seems to be a rinse repeat of the Porky Box. Let's see. And lastly, for a recommendation of any of these, go for the cheapest item in the highest tier you can afford. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Affiliate links are in the description down below. Please like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra!